I'm Claire Herdman. I'm a conservation ranger with the National Parks and Wildlife Service. As you can see here around us, Bantry Bay is a fantastic place to explore nature. There's so much shoreline here, both on the mainland and also on the islands, um, like Woody Island behind us. Of special interest are the seaweeds, especially those that you find in this intertidal zone, that transition zone between land and sea. Uh, it's not just seaweeds, there's also a myriad of small creatures to be discovered hiding there under the rocks and in the seaweed. Explore the shore here and you will be walking in the footsteps of Ellen Hutchins, who was Ireland's first female botanist, born just down the road in Ballylickie in 1785. In order to celebrate her life and work, the Ellen Hutchins Festival was um, initiated in 2015. This festival includes all sorts of walks, talks, workshops, there are events for everybody. One of the really popular events during the Ellen Hutchins Festival is a seaweed event held out on Woody Island each year. It's led by Susan Steele, who's from the Sea Fisheries Protection Authority, and she brings to life this fascinating world of seaweeds and little creatures on the shore. And this year we were um, delighted to have Carrie O'Flynn along with us, and she was dressed in the costume that Ellen would have worn at that time. In 1805, when Ellen was just 20, James Mackay, who was a botanist in Trinity College Dublin, came down to visit her in Ballylickey. He could see just how knowledgeable and skilled she'd become as a botanist. And seeing as she lived on the shores of Bantry Bay, it seemed obvious to him that she should study seaweeds. So he really encouraged her to become a specialist in this field and really focus her energy on these special plants right on her doorstep. My first encounter with Ellen Hutchins was, was by chance. I, I picked up a book about lichens um, and bryophytes of the British Isles and um, I thought it was a joke. Every time you'd see a species mentioned, they'd say, oh, this species is mentioned in the Orkneys and then there'd be a recording in Bantry Bay. Then I started uh, to learn about Ellen Hutchins and she'd actually gone out, collected a sample, either drawn it or had preserved it. And what was incredible about this was she died so young. So she collected over 1,100 samples by the time she was 27 years old. So what she did when she went out, in the cataloguing and in the drawing and in the preparing of 1,100 specimens was nothing short of one of the most incredible botanical feats, not just for the time, but even for modern day. And so she really was a true pioneering heroine. The work that she did at such a young age and the cataloguing that she did around Bantry Bay, just an amazing, amazing achievement um, and one we should all be in awe of. We hope that next time you visit the shore, you will really explore it and take a closer look and maybe even bring a hand lens with you and really see the wonders of the shore up close.